It's fairly common for people 60 or older, but it's quite uncommon overall. Incarcerated film producer Harvey Weinstein has not had it easy while serving his sentence. According to TMZ, the 72-year-old has been constantly battling his health as well through all of this. Issues include diabetes, high blood pressure, spinal stenosis, in addition to fluid on his heart and lungs. But a new report reveals that Harvey Weinstein is dealing with a rare form of leukemia now, too. It's classified as chronic myeloid leukemia and only around 200,000 people are diagnosed with it each year. However, it is common for those in the disgraced Hollywood figure's age range. CML is a type of white blood cell cancer that is caused due to an acquired genetic defect. This causes bone pain, fever, night sweats, easy bleeding, fatigue, and weight loss. Weinstein's representative, Judah Engelmayer, and his attorney, Arthur Adala, express their disgust with all of the noise and speculation surrounding this news. Craig Rothfeld, Mr. Weinstein's authorized legal health care representative in New York State, expresses profound dismay at the speculation surrounding Mr. Weinstein's medical condition. It is both troubling and unacceptable that such private and confidential health matters have become a subject of public discourse and speculation. Out of respect for Mr. Weinstein's privacy, we will offer no further comment. What we have also come to learn is that he has been receiving treatment at Rikers Island. This will definitely be something to keep an eye on, so stick with us for any further updates. What are your thoughts on Harvey Weinstein being diagnosed with leukemia? We would like to hear what you have to say, so leave your thoughts in the comments.